and his wife's name was Abigail. She was a woman of good understanding and beautiful. But the man was rough and evil in his doings and he was a Calebite. The question when I read this was, how can such a good woman be married to a fool? How is it that there are good women who end up with bad boys? How is it that there are good guys who end up with very foolish women? As a pastor, one of the questions people ask me is, how do I know I am choosing the right partner? Or how do I know that the one I am choosing is eventually going to help me? And the truth is that many of us, when it comes to choosing a life partner, we look, consider bedroom compatibility. The fact that the person can fire on the bed. And we forget about other things. So for many people, what they do is that they marry for pleasure and not for purpose. The essence of marriage is not only for pleasure, but also for purpose. How would you feel if the person you have married can only satisfy you in bed, but cannot support your vision? How would you feel if the person you have married is very good in bed, but is very foolish? And so there are a lot of women who are in relationships and they are not able to come out because the guy is very good in bed, but they know the guy is very foolish. And one thing that I have, that, that amazes me, I put a survey on Facebook and asked women, why are you attracted to bad boys? Then some of the answers that came surprised me. Some said, ah, the, 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 the good boys are too dull. They are too spiritual. I want a guy who is a bad boy in the bedroom. You'll be surprised that a girl can break up with you because you are too good for her. You'll be surprised that a guy can look at a lady and tell you that, please look for somebody who is equally as good as you. I don't think, I don't think we are called. So people, some people have the tendency to be attracted to very bad people. They don't like the tacking in boys. No, no, they, they are not attracted to those people at all. And sometimes you realize it when it is too late. When you have already put yourself or your head in it and you don't even know how to come out. And such was the story of Abigail. The Bible describes her as a woman of good understanding. Very beautiful woman, yet married to a fool. What made Abigail choose such a foolish man? And when the Lord has done all the good things he has promised you and has made you king of Israel, and when the Lord has blessed you, say, please, do not forget me. <laughs> oh, happy you I worry you, but only be my for It shows me probably that that was her character. She loved men of influence. Okay? There are women who love men of influence. On, on Shep Bem and Isubai, once the person is in an influential position, she's okay with it. She doesn't talk about, think about the character of the person. Once, oh, 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 that guy, mu, kakran, di, en, di, en, no, 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 on dreams of Berman, he's super huge and he's super new. Oh, oh, yeah, you bank. Oh, he's, he's very famous and popular. It will be in him, no. Abigail, obviously, it is possible that the reason why Abigail worried her car away was because the guy was influential. And I said, you to the point that even Sir Berman started to give you, or catch and look, or catch and David said, David, send your mission. What time? Strong times, and you'll be surprised why bad girls get good guys and good girls get bad boys because. Oba or your bad girl, where did you what did you do? Oh, do you want us to be warrior? I'm pep bear man, this man is oh no. Bema, what did you do? We are not so crap a virgin. Our I know. Oh, ba, bema, atina, come, atina, come, atina, come, and so be warrior, or taking the time. Or some man, no, munya, bema, or musho, mu, you know. Then David sent a proposal of marriage to Abigail. We'll be a new canoe and run on. A servant went to her at Camel and said to her, David sent us to take you to, to be with him as his wife. Abigail bowed to the ground and said, I am his servant today, ready to wash the feet of his servant. She rose quickly. She threw away the morning cloth and mounted the donkey. Accompanied by her five maids, she went with David's servant and became his wife. Listen, there are people who cannot say no. There are women who cannot say no to a guy. This one is here. Remember, I was here. Area distributor. I say, oh, media. Me case. Remember, I was here. Me case. The B A B A me. I know. I say, freely we receive, freely we should give. The team on Yeah. To the point that you are mourning your husband. The moment they brought you a marriage proposal, you threw a morning cloth and they went and married him. This shows me, sir. It's possible when the man proposed to her, she didn't do any investigation. Because if she had done investigation, she would have known that this guy is a foolish man. But she is a woman who cannot say no. There are guys who cannot say no. Community, this thing. Everywhere they go, they leave their seat. The Baba Ako, I will get tampo. Baku, I will get a crutch. Baku, I will keep close. Baku, I will have a hoi. 
Father Abraham distributing their seats everywhere. Cannot say no. I say, maybe I hear me feel. Say, who will say? Your friend is saying, I'm not the dad. I'm saying, a man who's freaking tamponing one here. I know maybe trying to wish here. And then a man who's free, I know one here for a half. What a phone number. And then I'm a santifono. Ha, and then she one bobra. You're a fool. Listen, if you are here, if you if you know how to control your sexual desires, eighty percent of your problems in this life are solved. If you are here and you know how to say no, about ninety percent of your issues are solved. Obi on Mount Tumi, Mount Tumi, Kasa Debi. David, Abigail should have told David that David, ah, David, what's more deal? Look, no, it's what they're mommy, but let me mourn my husband small.